pull these pins out. I got my buddy here. He's going to hold the frame so I don't have to disconnect a bunch of stuff. So we're just going to pull that pin out, but jiggle it. And he's just going to slide that whole thing back so I can get in there and work. These are 13 millimeters. We're just going to get at it. We'll set that to the side. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other. It's just three bolts. And I already got some of them loose. So now we're going to come over here. We've already assembled most of this third wheel. Um, basically, it'll come in four or five parts. One, two, three, four, and five. And then obviously the third wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this whole thing. And these are still pretty loose. But it'll give us enough room to make the install successful. So just take that whole frame. Watch for wires. Install like so. The first bolt is usually the worst bolt, but once you get them going, everything slides right in. Get that one started, and then I'm gonna get this one started. Just one on each side for now. And then I'm gonna ask Michael to slide back forward and we'll put our pins in and then my buddy, my buddy can go. And then I can finish this oh, on my own. Perfect. Thank you, Michael. I think I got it. There we go. All right, now Thank you, Michael. we can continue with the install. Um, these are directional. It took me a little looking at the manual looks like an easy way to tell is it if it's gonna ride on this right here obviously if we pick up the other one and bring it over it doesn't quite have the same shape right so we're gonna install that with that little o-ring underneath Maybe. There it went. I'm just gonna run that in by hand see basically the function of this without put, tightening everything down you can kind of see the function is to this is going to lock this and keep your the back of the uh vacuum port basically from dragging on the ground when loading and unloading so we can continue to tighten all this stuff down but i think you guys get the gist of it here and the last little bit is actually i'm gonna run one more bolt in just for safety here and then I'll tilt it back and I'll show you how that third wheel goes in that's just so we don't hurt nobody now I'm just gonna tilt it back and that third wheel pretty easy to to guess how it goes in just like that with the pin and the pin and then we can actually kind of clear some stuff out here and again this is a soft install i'm just kind of giving you guys the idea of how it's supposed to look just like that you can see Oh, oh, slipped off on me. There we go. You see how it locks in there? That was my bad. So now, when that third wheel is on the ground, you have tons of clearance back here so you can get on and off your trailer a little bit easier. Like I said, pretty soft install. We didn't tighten everything down. These bolts are still loose, but obviously this is just for quickness of the video. Um, go ahead and make sure all six of these bolts are tightened down. One, two, three, and then there'll be one, two, three on this bottom plate and then six on the other side. And uh, reinstall your front shroud and you're good to go. And that's only four 10 millimeter bolts. So thank you guys. Thank you, Marcus. No problem. Thank you. Hope it's easy installation. Yeah.